switch wire continues to be well it continues to be a headache um, still getting MCU disconnect errors for the MMB and the SB2040 tool headboard um, it's seems to be random anywhere between a few minutes to a few hours uh, I've noticed that it tends to be under conditions where its processing is pretty intensive and it's got a Pi 3B in it uh, it's got one gig of RAM on that um, so we're going to replace it with a Pi 4B with 4 gigs of RAM and I've also had randomly over the course of its service life some errors for under voltage to the Pi uh, there's a buck converter in there I'll show you that um, but we're going to go ahead and replace it with a uh, Meanwell um, RS25 5 volt to give us uh, 25 watts of uh, 5 volt power and that'll come off of it'll convert from mains voltage to down to the 5 volts so that'll be more than enough power to run uh, that Pi because that Pi also runs power off of that runs out to our webcam and to our screen as well as communication for the CAN bus network so I'm hoping that between the two maybe that'll solve the issues but I'll show you that as we make some progress first thing we're going to do is we're going to get this thing on its side well we got it on its side and uh, this is what we have going on down here we got Pi 3B and then we've got our CAN bus bridge we've got our SKR Mini E3 V3 and over here we have our 5 volt 10 amp uh, buck converter and then we've got our meanwhile 350 watt 24 volt power supply so we're going to need to grab some Wagos we're going to split off that mains voltage in we're going to pull that uh, power supply out of there and I mean the buck converter out and we're going to replace it with a power supply we're also going to replace this Pi alright be back in a few minutes so now here's something interesting this is the uh, buck converter that was in there this is a 50 watt 10 amp max powers uh, buck converter I don't know if it might be failing but uh, this is only uh, 25 watts 5 amps so I'll be interested to see uh, what happens with that. I could have put multimeter on here and checked it, but there's no way to adjust this one, so I'm not really sure what to do with that. We'll have to see. But we got the pie out and realized that uh, the cooler that's on here is attached via the uh, mount that's on here so we're going to print a new mount so we got a few minutes to wait for that to print but while we wait we're going to go ahead and get this wired up and put in there okay. well here we are about a couple hours but uh got some parts printed got new 5 volt power supply unit wired in got Wagos pulling off split off our ground and mains voltage between the two power supplies got um, DC ground between the two connected 
And then we go over here to the Pi. Got our power running in there. Got everything hooked back up. Using the same SD card that we had in the Pi 3. I know that the new Raspberry Pi Imager changed the way that it flashes stuff. You pick the Pi that you have, but it should work just fine. Um, I have to go into the Pi config and remove that cooling fan option. But other than that, we should be good to go. We're going to get this buttoned up and uh, fingers crossed and see what happens. Well, she's on. No magic blue smoke, and she seems to be working. So let's see what she does. No, we're not getting one of those. Well, we home there. Let's uh, home the uh, Enraged Rabbit Carrot Feeder. That seems to be working. So everything's working right now. We'll uh, let it sit for a bit and see if she disconnects. And uh, in the morning, we'll uh, try another print. See how it goes. Well, we're uh, running another filament swap. This is by far the furthest we've made it in a print so far. Um, Looks like we had a layer shift, though. Yeah, it definitely had a layer shift. If I had to wager, yes, I'd say it's probably due to these blobs on the uh, purge block. But, uh... I think that's a uh, filament swap like 9 or 10 straight with no issues with the filament swap. We'll have to work on that uh, purge block stuff and do some fine tuning, but this is uh, by far and away the furthest we've made it without any issues. We're going to go ahead and uh, pause. And then we'll go and we're going to cancel. And uh, let that cool down and we'll uh, pull that off the build plate. Let's eject that filament. And tomorrow we'll work on some uh, settings. Oh. There's our issue. We didn't have a layer shift. We moved the build plate. We moved the whole build plate. Yeah, so we'll have to uh, secure that a little better. Maybe add some more clips or something. Anyway, thanks for watching and. Uh, I'll update with uh, what we find once we get all these settings done. Finally got my first successful print off with the RCF. Um, all the changes I made uh, seemed to work. I think we had an issue with uh, low voltage causing timing errors is what I think it probably was. But 93 filament swaps later. <coughs> And we're there. Uh, we had like a half a dozen errors that required me to uh, manually do it. If you see there, there's uh, 
line. I swapped it to the wrong filament manually. But other than that, worked pretty great. Uh, really happy with uh, finally getting the thing going. Alright, later.